Oh, and hopefully the audio is working this time. New audio adapter. We're able to see uh, Jodrin's Bank. It's the uh, radio telescope over there in Manchester. Anyway, so those are today's trivia questions en route to Dairy House Farm. Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're off on a little adventure, not quite the McDonald's run that's always famous in the paramotor world, but we're off to Dairy House Farm, uh, which is the other end of the school, um, at, at, over at Cheshire, Cheshire Microlites. Um, and uh, apparently uh, it's almost obligatory that if you land away at Dairy House Farm, you have to go and get a pie. So today we're landing away for a pie. Um, I've wanted to go here because it's a really complicated circuit. Anyway, a little bit of a route. Uh, here's a bit of the map on the on the screen right now. Uh, we're going to route towards the top of Stoke, uh, then come down to the bottom of Crewe, and then then sort of route in from there. But here is the circuit, and it's a little bit odd. So <laughs> let me know what you think of the circuit in the comments, everyone. But anyway, on with the checks. Engines warming up, and uh, off to Dairy House Farm. Oh, and hopefully the audio is working this time. New audio adapter. With the appropriate awareness, we've got Judy's landed. My visor's down, engine temps are good for takeoff and eventualities. For this runway, are straight ahead and to the right. The winds are light today, so it's going to be a long takeoff run. Darling one traffic, Golf Limer Emmy departing runway 01. Darling one. Go forward on the bar, getting us light. And we're away, accelerating. And climbing away. RPM's good. Temperatures are on the rise. Still within limits. Right then, so as I used to do on my uh, other sort of longer flights. Um, you see, we get a microphone better. And yeah, that's a bit better. So I used to do a kind of little bit of a trivia question. And people might have guessed now why I was learning all these silly and uh, wonderful facts about air navigation order, MET, uh, aircraft general, etc. So we're going to do a few trivia questions and see if you know the answers to them. Again, life's about a learning journey and as I say, my channel's about information education. So the first question is, are you required Sounds like a game show, this, doesn't it? So, for two points, uh, are you required to carry a transponder above 10,000 feet? Let's clarify, flight level 100. You're flying above flight level 100. Are you required to carry a transponder? There are some exemptions to this. I do know them because I had to research it recently. But there you go, there's the first question. The second question is to do with those that fly two strokes. So those that fly these wonderful four strokes that you don't have to mix your fuel. If you add more oil to the fuel oil ratio, are you leaning or are you richening the mixture? Or does it affect it at all? Three parts. So if you add more oil than you're meant to, and the carb set up for that oil ratio, will it richen it, lean it, or not change the, the stoichiometric mix ratio? There's a bit of a part B to that one. What is the stoichiometric mix ratio? There you go. So let's see if we can get, that's kind of like two questions with a part B to one of them. If the cloud base is at 3,000 feet and you are below that at 2,999, do you have to keep clear of that cloud by 1,000 feet or 1,500 meters horizontal visibility? Anyway, so those are today's trivia questions en route to Dairy House Farm. Alan, if you're watching this video, I'm glad I left my extra layer of jacket on. It's a bit nippy up here today. I have got the batteries in my heated gloves, but I'm glad I put that extra layer on. Right, so when I lost my audio adapter and was chuntering away, um, again, Headley, I've got your neck over on today, buddies. Keep me nice and warm today. Thanks for that. 
Um, I was talking about the uh, modifications to my engine and uh, those that know me know I do like a, to tinker a bit but one of the things I've always found a bit frustrating with this, this carb is that there's such a big jump between needles that in the mid-range it's quite hard to fly stably without the uh, engine jumping and so I've made some modifications to my carburetor which I've been testing and with a new propeller um, to basically allow me to fly hands off. So in the video where I'm flying back from um, Rolston Park, I'm literally like this. It's a bit lumpy today. Anyway, wings level, Giles, come on. Uh, it was a joy just to leave the engine alone and let it do its thing. So, um, so yeah, so that's, that's what I've been doing recently is, uh, is tinkering and making sure that my, my engine runs perfectly because Walbro carbs, anyone that's ever had a Walbro carb will know that they're a bit of a pain in the bottom to get sorted in the mid-range Right then A little bit of wing, 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 wing cam time, so off with the cameras survive um, for me landing but we'll give it a go uh, we're at the overhead or just coming into the overhead for dairy house and I'm gonna see how accurately I can fly this circuit because it looks a bit messy um, but anyway let's give it a go and if nothing else I will uh, join you on the ground well, it's been a wonderful journey on the way over been able to see uh, George Ridge Bank which is the uh, radio telescope over there in Manchester we're right on the uh, the CTA for Manchester. Literally above us now is the edge. And apparently there's a monster circuit. So time to get down, as I always say. This thing doesn't want to come down. Dairy House traffic, Golf Lima Romeo in the overhead for runway 30. Dairy House. Visual with the runway. We're on a downwind leg. So Dairy House traffic, Golf Lima Romeo, downwind runway 30, Dairy House. So fuel, I know I've got loads, yep. Wind is down the strip, awareness, one aircraft on the ground. It's an upslope. Centre line, bars indicating speed. Okay, looking long. Oh, we're down. Look at that. So, mission success. We have pies and other things I can eat. Uh, some of the stuff ahead in there looked absolutely amazing. I'll uh, try and leave details of where this pie shop is, but say pretty much Dairy House Farm to the road, turn left, hit the pub, look across the road and it's there. Um, yeah, some really, really nice homemade food there and it looks amazing. So I can't wait to devour this stuff on the way back. I'm sure it'll count. I'm not sure whether it counts as ballast or, or loading of the aircraft, but uh, yeah, um, 
It's been fun flying here, so the weather's getting a little bit bouncy now. John's in circuit with the C42 here, um, and I'm just going to have my lunch before I uh, head on back to Darley Moor. Uh, I'm not sure whether people like the actual return part of the leg. I've sort of made the videos a lot shorter, did the outro here, but I always try and add a little bit of the flight of the way back. So if you want to watch that, do so. But so I hope you enjoyed the questions that I posed on the way here. Uh, a little bit of fun and games again, so keeping that that the brains ticking over with some some questions, etc. Um, but I say, other than that, I'm gonna have some food. John's just about to land now, and we will wrap this video up here. Join me on the last leg of the flight. I'll probably give you a wave on the way back. Uh, until next time, everybody, fly safe.